One year ago, Operation Rio Grande got underway in Salt Lake City. Stakeholders met to discuss the success of the program, but also its shortcomings today. News for Utah's Glenn Beebe talked with those on the ground to see if the effort is really making a difference. One year ago, the area of Rio Grande Street flooded with police to arrest drug dealers and other criminals by the homeless shelter. Those arrests included addicts like Amy Daschle. And I was arrested seven different times. And every time I went into jail, I would wait months at a time, either be released right back onto the street with no resources until the seventh time, and that was different. The difference was Operation Rio Grande offered more to addicts than just a jail cell. During the meeting, they showed a picture of what Amy looked like two years after being on the streets battling heroin and meth addiction. I was offered treatment and resources all because of Operation Rio Grande. It is only because of Operation Rio Grande and House of Hope that I am here today. City, county, and state leaders laid out the numbers showing the successes so far of the operation. And the numbers are good. Crime in the area is down more than 40%. The number of treatment beds for addicts has doubled. But safety issues at some of the local shelters and the lack of affordable housing are still forcing others onto the street. And once you fall into this hole, it's so hard to get out. You know, and people don't realize they're only, you know, a paycheck away for being in this in this position. Holly Stites has been homeless for three years after losing her job. She says even with help like a housing voucher, there are still hurdles keeping people on the streets. It's not just us getting a housing voucher. It's the landlords in the community also helping by accepting them because a lot of places won't. Officials acknowledge this is not mission accomplished, but only the halfway point. And I want to talk very specifically and on the record about what those goals are so that we all know uh, how much work is left. Speaker Greg Hughes and other leaders say the programs are working better than expected, but they've realized there aren't enough professionals to handle the need. And I think we have the track record now in the last year to show how effective that is in having these facilities and having this uh, opportunity for people that are willing to take it. We've got to have more of them. Reporting in Salt Lake City, I'm Glenn Beebe, News 4, Utah. Glenn, thank you. Now, Operation Rio Grande is set to go for another year until the new homeless resource centers are actually built. While many say they feel safer in the area because of reduced crime, police admit it has actually moved and they're focusing the efforts now on those new locations.